it's time for the E special, a Kardashian Christmas. <laughs> in the first friggin' place. <laughs> to that end, a new poll shows that Americans find telemarketers, lobbyists, and car salesmen more honest than Congress. To be fair, though, Congress did not come in last. <laughs> 
President Obama has agreed to sign the National Defense Authorization Act, which contains a provision to indefinitely detain American citizens without due process. And Ron Paul is the only presidential candidate who opposes the act. I never thought I would say Ron Paul is being the reasonable one. <laughs> in a low-key ceremony in Baghdad, Secretary of Defense Leon Panetta ended U.S. involvement in Iraq by saying, quote, the cost was high in blood and treasure for the U.S. and Iraqi people. Treasure. Oh, like we were filming a freaking Indiana Jones movie over there the whole time. <laughs> treasure. <laughs> <laughs> Despite a slow economy and high unemployment, Americans are doing their best to celebrate this holiday season. Okay, keep your eyes closed. Keep okay. your eyes closed. Okay, ready? Uh huh. All right, ready? Merry Christmas. Oh my God! What, what happened? happened to your hair? Well, it'll grow back. I, I sold it to buy you this gold watch, Bob. <laughs> Sweetheart, I sold my watch to buy you these combs. Combs? You sold your watch to buy these combs? And you sold your hair to buy me this watch, Fob. <laughs> that, oh. that was a gold watch. <laughs> I know, it, it was my most prized possession, but yeah. I gave it up for you. That was a, a gold watch worth like a hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> these are plastic combs. <laughs> these are two plastic combs that you can get at CVS for like a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> 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 You'll grow back, right? I sold my hair! <laughs> and first of all, it's not really a market for human hair. Uh, but I managed to sell it for enough money to buy you a gold watch bob. And, I, and these are plastic combs. I mean, do you see the inequity here? Yeah. <laughs> Very different tastes and gifts. No, uh, no. You're an idiot. <laughs> you sold the gold watch for how much? Uh, I don't remember. You don't remember. I have two plastic combs, and you don't remember! I'm virtually bald! Okay. It'll grow back! Yeah, right? You're not allowed to say that anymore. Okay. <laughs> okay. How much did you sell the gold watch for? Like $90. All right. How much did you pay for these combs? You paid $90 for two plastic combs? Oh my god! Oh my god, why don't you sell a cow for some magic beans while you're at it? You don't have a cow, silly. <laughs> you're an idiot. Okay, it'll grow back, you know what? right? You look great. You look great. No, I don't. No, I don't. I chopped it off with like these cheap scissors, and I look like hell. Oh my god! You know what? You've done some stupid things, but this, this. <laughs> I mean, we live in a rat trap. You can't hold on to a job, and you just spent ninety dollars on two plastic combs. These combs are very practical. <laughs> they are unbreakable. Watch this. That guy lied to me. <laughs> Get out. Get out. You want your other gift? I got you another gift. Another gift? Ta-da! It's a rag. Not quite. It's a bar rag. <laughs> uh, figured you could use it for, uh, you know, cleaning. <laughs> Is this what? another one of your practical gifts? You don't like it? No, I don't. I don't. Oh. How much did you pay for this? Nothing. Well, that's an improvement. I stole it. You stole it? Yeah, yeah, I stole it for you. I went into a crowded bar and I stuck my hand in my pocket like I had a gun. I was like, stick them up, and I stole it. You robbed the bar? Yeah. Well, why didn't you steal some money while you were there? <laughs> At the time, I had the watch. <laughs> I, I really don't, I don't think I can go out there. The cops are probably looking for me. Do I get another present? No. <laughs> no. You get a lump of coal. A lump of coal? Yeah. And right now the lump of coal is a bag of mud. A, 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 a bag of mud and shit. It won't even turn into a coal for another million years. Come <laughs> on. Hey, I got you another present. Oh, I already got my other present. No, no, no. No, another, another present. It's better than the other ones. Well, dirty socks are better than the other ones. I got a job. You got a job? I got a job in a warehouse. It's long hours. It's just entry level, but I got a job. You got a job. <laughs> Sweetie, I got a job. Well, how much are they paying you? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> They're getting to look a lot like Christmas. <laughs> Numbers are plummeting. The primaries in New Hampshire are in a month. Governor Romney, this office is a campaign strategy. It was a gay trick. <laughs> How did I know that?
said the veteran was gay. A gay veteran? They're like leprechauns. <laughs> Mitt Romney's got to stay away from gay veterans. They're screwing me. You should just talk about your choice of words. No, I'm tired of you yes men looping me up and leaving me hard. <laughs> See, that's your crazy. I need a new campaign song. Something manly, something burly, something that says steel. Something that means America. Macho, macho man. I want to be a macho man. Sir, the village people are gay. That's ridiculous. I love their music. <laughs> Whenever I hear it, I can't help but dance and have my mouth wide open. So I, so I can sing their lyrics. I don't even know what to say to that. Uh, I need a celebrity. Someone powerful. Someone wise. Like uh, David Geffen. <laughs> Neil Patrick Harris. Hey. Ian McKellen. Yeah. Need some glitz, some glam around here. Some panache. Some sparkles. Come some here. Glitter. Come here. Your gator is... Terrible! You don't have any gator whatsoever. Everyone that you have mentioned is gay. All right, you are so afraid of gay people, you don't even realize that the people you love and admire are gay. <coughs> Eric, it's time for my next speech. Lisa, you're wrong. I have a mandate for the American people. <laughs> Chinese food for Christmas dinner before dad. Well, if you want to go back to your mother's where her and her proctologist boyfriend who smells like ass all the time are eating, I can do that. Is that what you want to do? No, sir. All right, then. Cheer up. Your old man's had Moogle guy poon for quite a few years. <laughs> dad, why are you always gone? I had to work. Do you have other sons, Dad? Yes. Are they just like me? No. Some of them are black. <laughs> but I'm with you now. You're my favorite. I mean, those others are just names on postcards that get mailed to P.O. boxes. You, I'm legally obligated to you. Because you have Kung Pao chicken. <laughs> no smoking in this one! God's sakes, jeez, I'm sorry. <coughs> <laughs> Sorry I missed you in Da Nang. Da Nang? This is a Chinese restaurant! I'm Chinese! Racist. <laughs> Dad? What? Where have you been for the last five years? All right, that's rude. Now I don't have to give you your Christmas presents. <laughs> Mom and Dr. Michaels got me a brand new bike. Yeah, well, if I felt like sticking my hand up people's assholes for a living, I could make a lot of money to buy you nice things, too. <laughs> okay, here's your fright. I said no smoking in the rest of mine! Right up. <laughs> All right, look, here's your present. An original... Game Boy. Yeah. See? Thanks, Dad. Yeah. Your old man's not such a lame-oid after all. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Figure what? You must be, what, 10 or 11 now? I'm 16. You look good for your age. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, you don't know anything about me. Sure I do. You're what? You're in school? Yes. <laughs> Probably some things going on there. <laughs> yes. I'm in the band. I have straight A's. Teacher says that if I keep it up like this, I can get a scholarship to college. <laughs> That's great. Well, uh, celebrate. Have a sip of beer. <laughs> yeah. There you go. After all, drinking is what the holidays are all about. Uh, how about that? I bet your mother and Dr. Butt Guy don't let you do stuff like underage drinking, huh? No. Uh, Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Listen, son. I want you to make something out of your life. Don't, don't become like me, some guy that has to sell his blood to buy used electronics for his son. <laughs> I said no smoking in the restaurant! Oh, get out! Get oh. out of my restaurant! But I will leave, but we're not paying. <laughs> That's my son. <laughs> Come on, let's go down to Denny's, Jake. It's Jared. Sure, Jared. Yes. <laughs> Dictionary.
Dictionary said that pragmatic was the most searched word on the internet in 2011. Given the unwillingness to solve the economic crisis, the demagoguery in politics, and the deep divide between left and right, looking up the word apparently is not helping us to understand. <laughs> Due to a quirk in Texas law, Rick Perry is drawing his retirement pension and his salary as governor. So Perry is both a conservative champion of ending government largesse and the kind of deadbeat he despises. So maybe we ought to be looking up hypocrite online. <laughs> Stepping off my soapbox. In an interview, Newt Gingrich said that a positive solutions-based campaign is the only way to beat that spineless socialist Obama. <laughs> in a related story, batshit crazy actor Gary Busey is endorsing Newt Gingrich for president. Busey added, he brought Christmas back to Whoville, that's good enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> this just in, Gary Busey has withdrawn his endorsement of Newt Gingrich and now endorses Chuck Norris's World of Warcraft character, Chug. <laughs> <laughs> Although Rick Perry is the governor of Texas, we have to remember that he does not represent all Texans. Here now, with more, is our own Texan, Brian Nichols. Brian Nichols. Thank you, George. Thank you. Yes, it's true. Rick Perry doesn't speak for all of us. In fact, he reinforces some negative stereotypes about Texas culture, and I'm here to set the record straight with a country song. Because <laughs> Some of the stereotypes are true. <laughs> well, thanks to folks like Perry, George Bush, and Ross Perot, you might think the Texans are all redneck homophobes. I must admit our track record in politics is bad. But take it from a Texan, Texans ain't all bad. When it comes to great musicians, well, we've had more than a few. Like Willie Nelson, Buddy Holly, and Erica Badu. <laughs> Lots of famous Texans have appeared on your TV. One Gossip Girl, one Gilmore Girl, and that wheelchair kid from the beat. <laughs> on the office and the hot, desperate housewife. Two thirds of Charlie's Angels and half of Morgan Fairchild. Well, the other half was built right here in Los Angeles. <laughs> Mystery Oscar winners call the Lone Star State their home. Whitaker, Zellweger, and Brothers and the Quades. Well, we don't claim Randy anymore. <laughs> so, oh, Rick Perry just might be the worst candidate we've had. But take it from a Texan, Texans ain't all bad. Yes, take it from a Texan, Texans ain't all bad. Unlike past holiday seasons, 2011 has no it toy that whips kids into a frenzy and sends parents scrambling to get. So without a Furby or a Beanie Baby, what toys are vying for the top spot on our Christmas list? Arrgh, let's play pirates! <laughs> no, no, sis, I'm checking out this original Game Boy. Is your playtime stuck in a rut? Yeah. Well, get ready, because now there's a bird everyone can enjoy. Yeah! Introducing Polly the eye-pecking penguin! <laughs> Hi, Polly! Hi, Polly! Come over here! Give me a hug! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, oh, God. God. Oh, God. Why'd you pick up my eye? <laughs> Wait, you mean you didn't want your eyes picked up? No! no. Well, then why did they make me this way? <laughs> <laughs> You're a horrible toy, Polly!
my skin lily white. <laughs> well, my last campaign commercial caused quite a stir, and my opponents are following my style. Hello, oh, I'm, I'm Newt Gingrich. Ron Paul. Rick Santorum. Michelle Bach. Mitt Romney. <laughs> I'm not ashamed to admit that I'm, I'm a germ. Insane. Irrelevant. Uh, stupid. Afraid of Gingrich. <laughs> you don't mean <laughs> to leave your cancer-stricken wife. Stand on a street corner insanely shouting. Give speeches to half-empty rooms every day. Go to school. Do the things that people love. <laughs> you know, well, there's something wrong, wrong in this country, country, country when Herman Cain is squeezed out of an election for kneading some strange dough. I am insane. <laughs> Cheating windbags can be the front runner when people who have quietly served on Congress for years and years have to drive their own campaign bus. People want to turn the White House into a mosque and our kids can't celebrate Pearl Harbor Day on 9-11. When people can't do the things you like but other people who like certain things that you don't like can do those things. <laughs> As president, I am the Obama's war on jerks. Insanity. Uselessness. Stupidity. People and things. <laughs> and fight against liberal attacks on our Republican insane, irrelevant, moronic people and things that you love. <laughs> Heritage. Heritage. <laughs> Jackasses. Insanity. People you don't know. Idiots. People and things that I and you love. <laughs> that made this country strong. We can make her strong again. I'm Ron Paul and I approve this message. Researchers at the Large Hadron Collider in Switzerland reported this week that they may have glimpsed the so-called God particle, known as the Higgs boson. <laughs> However, it seems this is one particle that isn't ready to be found. Oh, Barkey, may I please have one shot and one beer? As of an hour ago, I'm a father! Well, then this one's on the house. I'd like to buy this gentleman a shot. Shh. I want to be found. What? what? Why? What? Look, I'm trying to keep a low profile, okay? There's people looking for me. It's done a lot of things that I'm not proud of. Oh, who's looking for you? The cops, the FBI? It's a bunch of Swiss scientists in lab coats and part of an outfit called CERN. What? Hmm? You're. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm Higgs. Higgs boss. <laughs> what, are you going to rat me out? No, man, no. Wow. You're responsible for everything in the universe. Yeah. Now you know what I'm hiding out here. <laughs> you created life. Yeah. You created my son. Would you, you want to be the guy who's responsible for creating war? Well, I... The Kardashians? Okay, no. Exactly. So now you know why I'm hiding here instead of on the front page of the New York Times. Oh, you know, you're so hard on yourself. You got a tough job. Yeah. Now that's my father. Niles Higgs Boson. <laughs> everything in his universe is perfect. Okay? Everything in my universe sucks. You know? In his universe, all the guys drive Ferraris, and they're good at sports, all the girls look like Charlie Theron, and they, they cook like Rachel Ray. They all understand encroachment. <laughs> no explaining what encroachment is. <laughs> I'm working on it though, you know, I'm trying to take care of the small stuff first, like uh, getting Glee canceled, and oh, well, the ratings are already down 20% now, and uh, you know, I'm trying to work on a European debt crisis, why did I put the Greeks on the same continent as the Germans? <laughs> hmm. Hello, they are looking for the man that they call Higgs Bota. Yeah, it's very important that we fight this man. We hear he's responsible for the Kardashians. There he is! Stop that man! He's trying to cancel the league! <laughs> Damn it, I should have asked him to explain Donald Trump's hair. <laughs> Chick-fil-A cashier was fired this week for insulting Asian customers. <laughs> if Chick-fil-A really wanted to punish this guy, they would keep him working at Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Atheists in Santa Monica took over space in a park usually reserved for a Christmas nativity scene. Having replaced it with a display of nothing, the Christian nativity scene was free to move back in. <laughs> <laughs> Mikhail Prokhorov, the billionaire owner of the New Jersey Nets, has decided to run for Russian Prime Minister. 
Russian billionaire who owns a basketball team wanting to run a country. Sounds like a villain from an undersea sequel. <laughs> 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 a nanoparticle that can potentially combat cancer has been invented by a 17-year-old girl. Trying <laughs> to say the discovery would be even more impressive if she would stop using the word like every third word. <laughs> American Psychological Association reported that mothers who return to work after giving birth are happier than mothers who stay at home. The overall happiest were those that stayed in the hospital a few days, and the saddest were those who went back out to the prom. <laughs> LAUSD high schools have been hit by a rash of tuba thefts, thought to be spurred by the local popularity of banda music. Here to discuss the impact of the thefts in high school is high school sophomore marching band tuba player Jared Gutierrez. Oh, Jared. Mr. Caliotis. Thank you, Jared. This tuba theft thing really blows, huh? Yes. <laughs> At first I thought that somebody had just hidden it from me, because that had happened before. <laughs> like, a lot. So I just checked all the regular hiding places that it usually is, like the cafeteria, on the 50-yard line of the football field, underneath the lunch tables in the senior quad, on top of the flagpole in the back of Zach Mignus's pickup truck, which is always parked in the staff parking lot, <laughs> on the freshman bike rack, um, on top of the big boy at Bob's Big Boy. But this time, it wasn't just a prank. There was no tuba. But I did find five pairs of shorts that had been taken from me at like five different random grades. Great, great. So there was an upside. Good. OK, great. So do you think you're going to have to quit the band? Oh, no, nah, no. Nah. Mr. Bill, he says that I'm too essential to his thriller formation. <laughs> so he has me practicing, you know, inside where it's warmer. And I'm practicing with a reflective dashboard cover for right now. It's like, two and three, one and three, two and three. Two and three, one and three, two and three. Two and three, one and three, two and three. Two and three, one and three, two and three. So you're not going to the prom, are you? No, no. It doesn't matter. Look at me. I was in the band in high school, and I turned out fine. Anyway. <laughs> tubas are expensive. Do you know if your school has plans to replace them? Yes. I am supposed to let everybody here know that our school will be holding a fundraiser to get new tubas for the school. We'll be selling wrapping paper and candles and spice racks. Jerry, is there anything you want to say to these thoughtless thieves? Well, if I, if I say something, they might know who I am and come after me. No, no, we, we'll alter your face and voice so they won't recognize you. Okay. I just want to say that while what you did sucks, and even though you're ruining like the musical education of so many talented young musicians, <laughs> I'm sure you have your reasons. And as members of the band, if anyone can take your bullying, we can take your bullying. But this band geek is not going to take it lying down. I have a plan to hunt you down and take back my tuba and win the affections of one meal of cunis. This might be what you got! who accused Justin Bieber of impregnating her has been proven a fraud, but we at Second City this week wonder how her story could have gained such credence. Take these bags to the lab. Of course, Mr. Bieber. <laughs> Justin, how do you explain these pictures of you on the cover of the National Enquirer with a slut and the cover of People magazine with a girl buying a ring of Tiffany's? Selena, baby, these, these images are photoshopped. 
That is me. I don't even know these girls, girl. <laughs> You're my girl. Baby, baby, ooh, baby, baby. I'm waiting, I'm waiting to pop my cherry with you. <laughs> Take it from the uh, top of the second verse. And 
action. The neighbors might be. Maybe it's bad out there. Say what's in this dream. Don't have to be bad out there. I wish I knew how. Your eyes are like starlight. To break this spell. to dazzle the judges by shooting ping pong balls out of their vagina. <laughs> Apparently Victoria's Secret is using child labor in Burkina Faso to produce its cotton. I always expected Victoria's Secret would be sexier. <laughs> child labor in Burkina Faso. <laughs> Speaking of fashion, the Swedish fashion chain H&M is under fire for using computer-generated models to showcase collections on its website. I wonder what this could mean for the future of fashion shoots. All right, everybody. Our newest model, Mav, will be showing up any minute. She doesn't like waiting, so hurry up setting those lights. Oh, Babs, you look fabulous, as always. Don't patronize me. I am a butterball blimp. I weighed in at 87 pounds. <coughs> oh, but perhaps you're made of aluminum. You always weigh 87 pounds. Commence cell phone hurling. 
celebrity who's fun and people like. Uh, we need somebody that's not going to distract from the candidates themselves. Okay. All right, then you'll love who I've got next. Okay. She's iconic, mm -hmm. a gold medal winner. Mm -hmm. Her name is Americana. Literally? Literally. <coughs> now it's Mary Lou Retton. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, I'm your god. <laughs> the hell was that? <laughs> well, she didn't know a lot about, you know, politics or issues, so I just told her to do whatever she was comfortable doing. No. The, the tape got better. I mean, she taught a step aerobics class to the Stars and Stripes of Forever. What else have you got? Uh, oh, I know. How about a comedian? Okay. A stalwart Republican? Mm -hmm. Real big George Bush supporter. Great. Larry the Cable Guy. Uh, Speaking of little people, I once hired a midget stripper. She jumped out of a cupcake. Max's hanged you? Unfortunately, it is. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind! Oh, okay. uh, sorry, I didn't mean to show you that. That was Jimmy Walker. He went on for like 20 minutes doing the same thing. Shannon, there's got to be somebody that can do this job. Okay. All right, listen. She's not a Republican, okay? She's got the reputation of being liberal, but we can spin it. She showed up at the audition. She was willing. She had a drum and a piece of paper that said the word headshot on it. So I just, you know, I let her give it a try. War, destruction, war, destruction, avalanche, avalanche. <laughs> Yoko Ono. <laughs> the hell is wrong with <laughs> you? <laughs> just get Larry the Cable Guy's agent on the phone. <laughs> Wide receiver Sam Hurd was arrested for running a massive drug distribution network. The arrest raises many questions. Most importantly, is he going to be able to play Sunday? Because I got to get my fantasy picks. <laughs> 
Walmart is being criticized for staying open after a man with a knife murdered his spouse inside a South Carolina franchise. <laughs> Company officials explained that when they first saw the slashed condition of the body, they assumed that the woman had merely gotten between Walmart and high prices. <laughs> 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 Last week, a crazed gunman opened fire at the intersection of Hollywood and Vine. Thankfully, all the Whitney billboards are intact. <laughs> <laughs> Our prayers have been answered. NBC is bringing back Fear Factor. We take you now to this meeting at NBC University. All right, people, bringing back Fear Factor was a brilliant idea. Boosting the ratings. What else do you got? Okay, we bring back the Playboy Club, but we call it the Penthouse Club, and we can show more vagina. You know what? We can't do that, you idiot. But I like it. Susan. And we bring back Cheers, but we set it in New York City, and Cliff and Norm are a married gay couple. Hip, I like it. Let's do it. I got nothing. God damn it, What is wrong with you? I don't know. I suck. <laughs> Okay, well, well, we, we replay uh, the last episode of MASH. That was CBS, you idiot, but I like it. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna remake the last episode of MASH, but we're gonna cast the cast of Whitney. Alan Alda cameoing as the gay uncle. Oh, people would love that. I know. That's why I have his job. Susan, give me the next Seinfeld. Um, Seinfeld 2. <laughs> Mike. Uh, pass. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay, okay. Side deal three. Ha! Fuck you. I'll kill yourself. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't start giving me some money, makers. Come ahead and sell on my ski house in Malibu. You have a ski house in Malibu? Yes, yes, I know. It's useless, but I'm fucking rich, so I don't give a shit. Susan, give me the next.
On my dad's side of the family, every man is an Orthodox rabbi. I mean, I'm not kidding you. My great-grandfather's name is Hyman Lipman. Okay? I've got a cousin who lives in Queens named Howard Schlafmitz. I might as well change my last name to Star of David. <laughs> but you know, we were raised for form, so we're a little more progressive than the rest of the bunch. Just it sounds like you'd be a great reference for the rest of the Goyim. Oh, well, I haven't been to Temple in a while, but I'll do my best. Uh, hey, Amanda, I have a question. What's the difference between Hanukkah and Christmas? Oh, Hanukkah is super cool. It's like seven nights, you get seven plus presents, you light candles in this little menorah thing.